Common Sense of a Warrior. Chapter 7. Father's Lamentation. Gazelle Daz Anderson. He, the head of the Anderson Marquis House, lauded as the patriotic hero, was currently watching his daughter's training while gently letting out a sigh. If she had been a man, then just how much would she have accomplished? He was reminded that there would be no end to it if he continued to think that. His daughter was Mel Lice Reese Anderson. Her platinum blonde hair and transparent aquamarine-like light blue eyes were her characteristic features. Once she grows up, just how beautiful of a woman will she become? Even now, she was the owner of looks that anyone would be charmed by. She was a daughter whose growth he looked forward to from the bottom of his heart. That young girl was currently mixing among men while covered in wounds, training. Normally, as a noble, for her to be placed in such a lowly environment was, to start with, impossible. One of the reasons for it was because his wife had passed, he had wanted her to learn techniques for self-defense. However, the biggest reason was because he had wanted to see just how much of her natural talents he could nurture. To begin with, the start of this was during his wife's funeral. Having lost his beloved wife in an unthinkable manner, he grieved. From that sense of loss. Though he had been praised as a hero, he cursed at his own powerlessness that rendered him incapable of protecting just one of his most important people. Not only that, but the ones who had killed his wife were not those of the neighboring country burning for revenge, but people of the Tasmaria kingdom. At the funeral, seeing his children grieving in a similar manner caused an even greater sadness to descend upon him. However, just a single moment during that ceremony. A chilling feeling caused his entire body to break out in goosebumps. It was a warning brought on by a momentary instinct that told him of another warrior of strength. That caused those goosebumps. He wondered where that sort of presence would come from during such a ceremony. And when he searched out for the source of that sense of danger, who would have thought it would be coming from his very own daughter? Like that, he questioned his own sanity. After all, from his daughter who had only just passed the age of five, he had felt a powerful aura. One that caused he, who had seen many men of valor in the past, to sense danger. Upon checking his daughter's state, he saw that her tears had stopped without him realizing, and in exchange, she was gnawing on her lips as if she were trying to bite through them. And within her eyes, flames of hatred burned brightly within them. It was quite clear what exactly she had been thinking about. And in response to those emotions that had manifested themselves, his instincts were letting out warning bells. Melly. Right, right now, now, could you, could just, you just think, think about, about your, your mother? mother? And so, he said that to her. Although Melly gave a blank look momentarily, her attention soon turned back to his wife, and she sorrowfully shed tears once more.